Hey guys, it's Dr. Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center, and today we're going to talk about the Smart Graft Procedure. So the Smart Graft Procedure is a hair transplantation procedure that takes healthy hair follicles from an area of healthy hair growth and transplants those follicles into an area where the hair follicles have been permanently lost. So this happens usually as a result of androgenetic alopecia, which is male or female pattern hair loss, but it can also occur from other sources of hair loss, including different types of alopecia that could be autoimmune, or you can have uh, alopecia that occurs because of stress or other factors. Usually we can get those hair follicles that are still present to get healthier and start growing again with the use of specific nutrients and vitamins and supplements that we recommend, as well as using a helmet that has laser lights that help to nourish and protect and cause those hair follicles to start growing healthier. Um, also, you can use topical minoxidil and men can also use Propecia at times to help preserve the hair follicles that are still present. So we can uh, address the hair loss from a nutritional, from an autoimmune perspective if possible, um, but if it's a pattern hair loss because of a genetic condition um, such as androgenetic alopecia because you're losing hair follicles as a predetermined pattern of baldness usually begins in the temples and the crown and those two areas start to kind of fuse together and then you have sort of that classic appearance on the top of your scalp. So when that occurs and the hair follicles are completely lost then we can use healthy hair follicles usually from the back of the scalp and that area typically preserves hair follicles uh, throughout one's lifetime. So we can take little hair follicles from that area and transplant those follicles back into areas where the follicles have been lost. Um, so this is called the FUE technique, follicular unit extraction. That is opposed to taking a strip of skin from the posterior scalp and then dissecting each little hair follicle to be transplanted back. So with the FUT technique where we take a strip of hair, um, typically would end up with a fairly large scar across the back of the scalp. So with the FUE technology that we use now, there is no scarring virtually that is visible in any way. It is just little tiny follicles that we're taking from the back of the scalp and your surrounding hairs will overpower and then you, it is not noticeable that you have even lost any hairs from that area. But we can take those little hairs and transplant them back into areas of thinning and rebalance those hair follicles and restore one's youth, one's appearance, one's confidence. So it's a really great way to do that for both men and for women. We are increasingly seeing more and more women uh, have this procedure. The procedure is done under local numbing, so you're fully awake, you're uh, very relaxed during the procedure, um, and then we can usually transplant just a few hundred hair follicles up to a few thousand hair follicles. On average, we can do up to 2,000, maybe 2,500 hair follicles. It all depends on how healthy the donor site is. So the healthier the donor site, the more follicles we can um, remove and transplant for you. What makes the smart graft procedure especially unique is the way in which that those follicular units are extracted. So they're extracted safely um, in a way that preserves them the best in, a, in the least traumatic way so that we have the most healthy hair follicles to transplant back. Because if we're removing 2,000 hair follicles, we would like ideally for all of them to survive and uh, give you a nice result. So if, even if we lose 30 to 40% of those hair follicles, that's not acceptable because then that's just a waste of those healthy hair follicles. So that's what makes the smart graft a great way to really do the best job and the best uh, way to do a hair transplant. Please do call and ask us any questions you have. Feel free to comment and share and continue following our posts. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching.